Welcome to Hangover Reviews. As you can see, today I'm not huddled in a chair in my bedroom. That's because today I'm going to be bringing you the best Hair of the Dog cocktails. Okay, we're going to start with the classic, the Bloody Mary. Okay, your ingredients for this one are two ice cubes, two shots of vodka, juice of half a lemon, six dashes of Worcester sauce, three dashes of Tabasco sauce, 150 milliliters of tomato juice, and a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. Okay, so step one, you add two ice cubes, followed by your two shots of vodka. Step two, you add your lemon juice, your Worcester sauce, your Tabasco, and your 150 mils of tomato juice. And then you stir well. Look how well I'm stirring. Step three, you adjust seasoning to taste. Now usually you garnish with a stick of celery, but the supermarket I went to didn't have celery. I'll leave you to insert your own jokes about Scottish vegetable oils. Okay, time to see how this works for a hangover. It tastes pretty good. It's a bit too tomato-y, a bit too lemony for me, but get into that sort of thing. I have to say it's working pretty well for the hangover. It's very salty, a lot of fruit and vegetable, good for a hangover, a little bit of hair of the dog. Just what you need I think. I can really see why this has become a popular hangover drink. Hmm. I would definitely recommend that for your next hangover. Okay on to the next one then. This one's a little less traditional and it's aptly named the hair of the dog. Okay, so the ingredients for this one are 6 ounces of Bulldog Gin, yes, 6, half an ounce of lemon juice, and 3 dashes of Tabasco sauce. Popular ingredient in hangover drinks apparently. Also, a slice of chilli to garnish. Again, I went to a rubbish shop, so I only had scotch bonnets, but that'll do. Okay, so you're going to add all your ingredients into a shaker filled with ice. This is a lot of gin. And then you do what you normally do after you put ingredients in a shaker. Shake it. And you're going to strain it into a chilled rocks glass. And garnish with your slice of chilli. Remember not to touch your eyes after chopping chilies. Okay, time to try this one. Oh! It's a lot more alcohol than there was in the previous one. This is more of a kick you out of bed hangover cure than a gently easy out. The chilli really adds to that as well. It's good though, but I don't know if I want this first thing in the morning. You can see this more as an evening drink to be honest, it's very strong. Yeah, I don't know if I'd recommend this for a strong hangover. If strong spirits are your thing, then go for it, but I don't know if that's a good idea to be honest. It's good though, I'm going to drink it. Okay, for this last one, I called in a request to the Let's Drink About It podcast. It's a very cool cocktail podcast, and you should definitely check that out if you're into this sort of thing. Anyway, I asked for the perfect hangover drink, and what they gave me was the Prairie Oyster, and I am absolutely dreading it. We'll see why once I tell you what's in it. Hey, the ingredients for this one are one whole egg, good start. One ounce of vodka, two dashes of vinegar, one teaspoon of Worcester sauce, one teaspoon of ketchup, two dashes of Tabasco, a pinch of salt and pepper. Mmm. Okay, so carefully crack the egg into an old fashioned glass, taking care not to break the yolk. Beautiful. Then you add the remaining ingredients. Teaspoon? Jeez. Okay, the last step here says drinking one gulp, but I think you've missed a step. It should be drinking one gulp. Make sure you have a bucket handy. Oh, 
All right, thank you, Mongo. Then. Oh my God. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I would rather just deal with having a terrible hangover than have one of those again. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. 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 You know what? That actually works. I feel a lot better now. I definitely wouldn't do it again, but it works. That's the review for this week. I'd like to thank Ben from Let's Drink About It again for the drink suggestion. No, thank isn't the right word. Anyway, if you have a suggestion for something I can review, then leave a comment in this video or tweet me at Hangover Reviews. Just make it something easy, like a rom-com or a quarter pounder. Subscribe for a new video every Sunday. Have a good hangover. Well, I feel a lot better now, so I'm just going to have myself a little rum and coke.